everybody from your favorite artist, electronics, Mr. Kyoto here. Like usual, for everybody, I believe it is happening this kind of uh, shit. Like, shit happens, you know? And uh, I had a, a preview pair of he uh, headphones and they got, uh, they got damaged in so many ways. <laughs> I should probably show you how damaged it is, but it, it's kind of way more uglier than, than this one. So this pair is relatively new. Uh, is, uh, I'm having it for, I don't even remember, one year, maybe, maybe one year, one year and a half, maybe two years, but I'm not completely sure. But around one year like that, I'm having this headset. And today I was working my computer with, uh, I'm using it all the time. That's why is is you can see how used it is. Uh, I'm, I'm wearing it every day on my head. And also you can see here on the ears is washed out, is used. Uh, but the, the idea is that at some point one earpiece didn't play uh, at all, it didn't work at all. And uh, it was like, uh, sometimes it was working, sometimes it was not uh, working with interruptions. And when I was mo moving the wire, you know, uh, also plugging it in, uh, this stereo jack, uh, when I was moving it, it was also giving me some signs, but it I, I couldn't tell, I couldn't uh, say for sure if it's from here, if it's from here uh, or on the uh, line, on the entire line of the the track of the, the wire. Uh, where is the, the wire that got broken, pretty much, uh, that was creating this, uh, uh, sometimes working, sometimes not working. All right, so that's the, the problem. And I already, I resolve it. I uh, Now is completely working. And the, the word of the day is being reliable, uh, not being easily breakable. That's uh, from uh, quite some, quite a couple of uh, headsets repairs. I, I got a little bit of experience uh, dealing with the problems and I'm sharing those the solutions that I found at least. And you, you can see how I resolve it here on my this headset. And it took me, I don't know, uh, one or one and a half hour, maybe two hours because I was uh, checking. The, I wasn't sure which is the, the wire that, uh, which is the, the part of the wire that was broken, that was creating the, those interruptions. And uh, the logical thing, I, I took out this piece and I look inside, I want to show you, I made, first of all, I made a little drawing here, uh, how the wires, original wires were uh, linked here. Actually, this is a green wire, but I didn't have the green color, so I made it blue. This is the white wire here, this here is this white wire, and this here is the red wire, which is this uh, longer wire. This white wire is going to this other uh, speaker uh, here. And this speaker here uh, is having only two connections there and there. And from this red wire is, co is coming this uh, negative wire here, the black one, and it's going there. And another negative wire for this other uh, speaker is going through this white, this one here, to this uh, wi white wire. And the positive is common, uh, is together. And it was actually uh, flying around with uh, with a heat sink uh, on top of it. And I, I, I took a piece of, uh, let me actually zoom in. Or, or get closer like this. Uh, I took a, a, a piece of, of a board, uh, of a scrapped board, let me show you. So I literally cut it from here and, uh, and I glue it on this plastic. Usually the glue is not adhering to the plastic, but I'm using uh, my Prelandes. That's the Prelandes, that's for shoes. And some plastics are adhering to some plastic, not to all plastics, but I, I got lucky for this plastic here. I also used Prelandes for this piece of paper to, to glue it on this plastic as well. And when I see that it is adhering and not uh, skating uh, from it, uh, then I I, uh, I I glue this piece also. I scratch a little bit the, the, the paint over this and, and uh, put some solder there. And I uh, pretty much, I soldered these two red wires. I commoned them there on that piece of text on it. And I, I put, I know it's red on red. So this is a, a red tube here. You can see it that I, I scrapped it from, from this one and I put it over the negative uh, over this black wire uh, because that black wire it was very long and potentially it was shorting and it was flying over everything pretty much so I, I put two tubes this red tube and this other tube because it was very very long so it's it should have been one single tube here but i, I put two pieces so that's uh, this helped me uh, a lot this diagram uh, drawing it and gluing it here and i also uh, named with a marker i named uh, this pad here as a and this pad here as b uh, to know exactly for sure what is what and how is uh, and i actually unsolder and resolder a couple of times like three or four times everything and i'm telling you why i did it because i was trying to figure out where is the actual broken inside and uh, originally i cut this this was the original uh, uh, wire that was uh, having this knot here you see this was having the knot here and this was the original that was uh, here uh, connected here 
uh, this drawing is from this uh, element that you're seeing here. And I cut it and I was, uh, I was very sure that it, it is from the knot itself, uh, by, by, uh, from dragging. Uh, usually, usually it's like that, you know, uh, from, from here, from here. I know it's red on red, but uh, make abstraction, <laughs> try to understand. And then I check it. Uh, how I check it? I check it with my uh, diode on continuity here. So if it's, if it's beeping, uh, then I have a connection between uh, this point here and this point here, and I checked these three points, uh, these three points, uh, this black one, this red one, and this uh, negative, so one, two, three, uh, on, on this stereo uh, jack, one, two, and three. This is the negative, uh, this is the red, if I remember right, and this is the green or blue. And th this is how I check it. I, I can prove it, actually. I can uh, do a, a, a little test right now for you to see it. So these two wires here are on this uh, pad here. This negative wire is actually here, common uh, for, for, this, for this white wire here, like that, and this red from this red wire. So it's common here. As you can see, it is making connection. And then this middle one, probably, yeah, it's the red one, is this one. And then this uh, blue one. So uh, for the interruption was for this negative wire here in on point A. And um, it, uh, I, I couldn't uh, I couldn't get a, a beep from from it. So I knew exactly which wire was interrupted. But it, do it doesn't help me if I know which one. Uh, uh, I didn't know where is the location. On the entire wire, where the fuck is the the, the bent or the rupture of the wire? And uh, I had to to take a guess. This is how I'm doing this kind of repairment because it's impossible to to actually find uh, where is the, the actual problem. So I took a guess and I cut it it from here uh, or a little bit uh, more from 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 here. And I cut this piece here. And then I made this test again. Uh, I I I took out the wires from this new uh, cutted cable. I took out these wires and I, I checked them again with this part with this uh, element with this uh, jack. And then I said, well, if it's not from here, then it is from here. So I cut it, this, this jack with a little bit of tolerance here. This is important uh, here because in the possibility that it, this jack is still good, as you can see it here repaired, uh, not to cut it from directly from here, you know, uh, to leave a little bit of, uh, of tolerance. And I, I leave it and I took out the wires from this cable that remained and I, I made the check again from this side to all three points here. And again, I couldn't get uh, uh, the, this negative, this black one, neg um, common negative wire here. Uh, it didn't beep. It did beep for the blue and for the red here and here, uh, but not for the common negative here. But, okay, and then I, I got this wire. You see, I'm not sure if you can see if I'm doing this. You see, you see how malleable, how, how uh, easy it is to bend here and how hard it is to bend here. This is very stiff, extremely stiff. This side, you see, is not bending like, like this side, you see. How uh, elastic and uh, rubbery is this side, but this is stiff, it's literally stiff, it's super stiff. And then I remember, and this was here, very close, very close here, uh, very close to the to the ear, this piece. And I remembered that I dragged uh, with, with my headset on my head uh, when I was listening. I, I got up in my feet and I walked, and by walking I dragged the wire. Uh, and, and probably, uh, this is the most probable cause here, this stiffness most probably is because of the the wire I, 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 or the or this plastic or this rubber rubbery plastic it got stretched and it, it stiffed out uh, you see it's like a you, know, you can beat someone with it <laughs> uh, while this is is not doing anything you know it's, it's just conforming to the shape like that is so uh, most probably this was happened this happened sometime somewhere in, in time you know uh, not yesterday not uh, two days ago but in time you know uh, accum accumulated uh, this kind of uh, uh, dragging and uh, I put my bet on this side and I cut it as you can see quite long actually and I, it shortened my wire considerably but it's good enough I mean uh, I can even stand in my feet with the headset right now as it is the length of the wire and uh, but if I'm moving a little bit uh, to the left it's, it's too short uh, after that so uh, what I'm telling you what I'm showing you is how I resolved these problems so after I find uh, after I took a guess, literally, I took a guess and I cut it, and then I measured it again, this wire from here to here, remember, this part was cut out, and I, I only had this wire uh, here, and I measured everything. I actually go directly to the to this ne common negative wire, this black wire here, and I, I measured it directly to see if that, because that was the actual problem, if that was making sh short uh, with the multimeter here, and finally, I catch it. Uh, the rest of the cable was good, and only somewhere here is the, the fault. I, I have no idea if it's here, 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 or there, I don't know where. Um, after that, I, I uh, glued this little piece here for this uh, red, common red there. And, um, and then I, I dragged this tube. I know it's red on red, but it's, it's a red tube from the, red, uh, from the white wire and another tube. These two tubes uh, to not make shorts, to, to make it a little bit more safer. And, 
and I used this, uh, I, I had it in my uh, spares, but unfortunately I have only one, maybe two, but I don't know where is the, the second one, <laughs> uh, but I, I knew for sure I, I'm having one. Uh, I find it, and I actually linked everything to it, and it worked, but when I was moving from here, it was still making a little bit of uh, interruptions, but this time, this time was somewhere from here, probably the wires were, uh, they were very well uh, bent, not to make contacts, but so, for some reason is it was not m making a very good contact, this one, this particular one, I, I'm not sure why. And uh, then and I stay like this, uh, I don't know, I, I made a, a test like half an hour or a couple of minutes actually, uh, with this one, uh, here on this wire, and then I took it off, I, I disordered everything, all the wires, and let me actually draw it, with how it is inside here. So here, uh, so this is the wire, the red wire, is, is this red wire here, is here, and I literally, I literally, uh, cracked these three wires inside it, which are very fine, like this, I, I dis, uh, dispart them, like that. You see, this is a little bit wider. This is because I, I cracked uh, these wires like that a little bit. That's why it's, it's a little bit uh, wider here. And then from this side here, so this is the other uh, wire cable, and I dragged these other wires because they are already colored. It's, it's from the same wire, and I, I knew exactly how where to, to solder them. And after I soldered them, I use plastic, melted plastic. How I use it? I melted this plastic uh, using my second uh, most trusty, actually, actually this is my first and uh, very very uh, reliable 48 watts <laughs> uh, soldering iron, which is very short, it's having a full, uh, I can show you actually, uh, or not, it's having a, a full copper element here that I can drag it out, uh, out or in, you know, and I can uh, vary its length and temperature, if it's longer it's weaker, if it's shorter like it is right now, it's very strong, very very strong. And with this one I'm usually doing this operation of uh, melting plastic. and. And literally, I took out, these are pieces of plastic, uh, if you want to know exactly what type of plastic I use here, uh, you see this is white, but you can see these are uh, transparent pieces, but when you are heating, warming them up, or heating them up, uh, they change uh, from this transparent uh, color into whitish, and actually this is brownish here, because it, it was, uh, so, some parts are uh, a little bit uh, burned tiny little bit brown stains that you are seeing there, and even black is, is actually burned uh, plastic. Uh, so it depends how much you you you, you melt the plastic. If you, you, if you stay too much with the soldering iron, iron uh, into the plastic, you start to burn it a little bit. But it's, it's no problem because uh, uh, it is very, very fluid. You know, it's, uh, that's why uh, I wanted it to be super fluid, to actually get between the cracks, between everything there. So this, and if you want to know exactly what kind of plastic I'm using, I'm using this PET this PET uh, uh, polyethylene uh, terephthalate. Uh, this is PET that is used uh, in um, uh, bottles of beer. Uh, actually, this is exactly a sample of a beer bottle plastic. And this uh, transparent one, I find it somewhere, I don't remember where, and I cut it at uh, these little uh, pieces, because it was very thick, that's why. And I read on the bottle that I, I cut uh, these pieces, it was also a PET. And if I, I see that it's a PET, it is the same plastic that is uh, from the beer bottles. Uh, and on the beer bottles, it says, it's having this element, this uh, uh, symbol there, it's telling you this is a pet plastic. And with, with this pet plastic, I know it's very, very uh, solid, it's very durable and it's very resisting to, to hit, and you can mold it and you can shape it, but you have you must have a little bit of patience with it until you, you get it like that. So I melted over these uh, solder points of the wires, uh, I, I melted uh, around them for the first time, and between them, I, I occupy, occupied the space between them, and I made like a, like a disc, you know, and then I started to add more and more and more. And another thing here on the wire, and this is why I wanted to, to actually make the movie and show you, I wanted to be reliable. If I'm doing this, you see, if I'm dragging from this wire, not to get out from this little, uh, uh, very very sensitive soldering points. If I'm dragging, it will drag from those. So not to drag from those, what I did actually, inside, uh, let me actually show you the wire thickness. As you can see, do you see the wire thickness? It, I hope you can see. It's having a tiny little small hole there for all those three wires. And the rest is the isolation. It's very thick isolation. And inside this isolation, I, I did a cut like this. So this, this, if this is the wire like this, this is the wire. I made a cut with my cutter. So I, I cut the, the little uh, rubberic plastic, this red plastic. I cut it like this in several uh, parts, like uh, here, 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 and here. You know, and, and here as well on uh, on the underneath it. So when I melted this plastic, when I when I came and melted this pest, this particular pet plastic, I filled these holes here as well. So this is my plastic, my pet plastic here, and is filling those little uh, uh, gaps. And when you drag the wire from this side, and also the same here on both sides, so uh, so here, 
uh, how is it? like this and like this and here is like this you know and here is like this and when you drag from both sides this plastic is actually opposing is catching in those little cuts that i made special cuts and uh, because this is a very thick plastic like this uh when i cut it with my cutter there i cut it somewhere there you know in this region and not to the wire i kind of feel it you know and it's, it's not it's quite deep actually uh, it's quite deep uh, i can uh, put my nail into it uh, quite long nail uh, into it and and, and check it you know uh, and it's it's very very thick uh here uh, the, the wall is very long uh inside or even even like this it was at, at some points you know a little bit more inclined so uh this is conferring me a little bit more strength when I'm strengthening when I'm dragging from the wire, especially on this uh, element, on this melting melted plastic or melted pet plastic. And I made the test and it's working absolutely fine. And it's like new, <laughs> like it was never uh, disassembled or never cut like I did. So I want to show you that it is possible. If you uh, have a little bit of patience and if you, well, trust me, I had numerous, a lot of problems with wires along the years. Uh, this kind of very thin, wires you see very very thin wires I, I had a lot of problems with them and i made a couple of designs actually this is one of one design that i that i made right now but i made other designs as well uh, but this is good this is good enough and strong enough and reliable because this is the word of the day to be reliable to, to be uh you know when you drag it not to shit itself not to, to uh, get out from your from uh, from the soldering that you made there reliability is the the word of the day here in this specific repair that I did here, right? So this is it. I know it's looking a little bit ugly and a little bit, uh, I don't know, yeah, probably ugly, but it's practical. It is uh, functional. Uh, it is usable. I can use it another uh, five years from now on in this configuration. I don't care. Probably, most probably, uh, I will search for a, a, a longer wire and replace this entire wire with a very long wire that is already having this stereo jack on it. But for the time being, until I will uh, make the command or the purchase for that more stronger wire that I have in mind, I will use it as it is and I wanted to show you my resol resolve and that it is possible to repair it even if it's uh, a little bit um, too thin wire that you get scared of uh, very quickly when, it, when you see it it's too thin and you don't know how to to solve this problem of too thin wires and not to drag themselves uh, from, from the soldering you know from the, their connections and how to and also this is a very big uh, issue how to uh, not to make shorts short one with each other that's another uh, issue very important issue actually and next I search on Google for a left and right stereo uh, sound test and uh, this will you know this, uh, to check the if I if I got the wire correctly on the left uh, uh, speaker or on the right speaker on my headphones all right so I uh, I knew from Windows there is something that I can uh, use for checking the left and right but uh, I didn't find it when I needed uh, like right now I want a bit and I couldn't find it and I also use my uh, trusty Winamp that I'm having here and this uh, Winamp is having this uh, um, let me actually play it you see right this balance it says there uh, I guess left and right this is left and this is right and here in the center in the middle it's literally it's a little bit uh, weird control here but so that's uh, what I used also, but um, mostly I use this uh, YouTube left and right very quick to check and uh, very practical, actually very, very practical. And uh, that's it. All right, that's it. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. See you next time, I suppose. And uh, also leave a like. Bye-bye from your favorite artist, Mr. Q12.